Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to the Fangoria Movie Challenge. Now, this is the segment I've been doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're not only going to watch, but also review all 101 movies that Fangoria thinks we should have seen. This time, it's a definite. <laughs> and that is Dolls. Dolls is a 1987 film, which runs approximately 77 minutes, and is directed by the late, great Stuart Gordon. Now, he passed away on March 24th, 2020, at the age of 72. He was responsible for Reanimator, Edmund, and King of the Ants. Edmund is actually a very interesting movie, and I love King of the Ants. That was almost my pairing this week. Now, this stars Stephen Lee as Ralph Morris. He passed away on August 14th, 2014, at the age of 58. He was in War Games, The Negotiator, and Burlesque. Guy Rolf as Gabriel Hartwick. He passed away on October 19th, 2003, at the age of 91. He was in several of the Puppet Master movies, King of Kings, and Crossbow, and Carrie Lorraine as Judy Bauer. She was in Poltergeist 2 and some television. Now, the movie trailer for Dolls reuses the music from Dress to Kill from Brian De Palma. I thought that was pretty cool. And Stuart Gordon was afraid of porcelain dolls in real life. <laughs> This also stars his wife, Purdy Gordon. Ah, Dolls. Dolls is a fantastic film. I'm not going to get too much into the plot because I'm pretty sure just about everybody and their brother has seen this movie. You have a mother, father, and daughter who break down in a storm, get stuck in the mud, and they have to go to this house on a hill which has Gabriel and his wife, and they are toy makers, doll makers. Now you have Judy, which is a childhood sort of whimsical look at life. And you have her parents who are mean and are always encouraging her to get her head out of the clouds. You also have a traveling salesman to get stuck there, and some punk rockers who get taken out one by one. The bad people get taken out. The good people are spared, more or less, because that's pretty much, in a nutshell, the, the film itself. This, in my opinion, has a whimsical, sort of childlike feel to it, and... It could also almost be a gateway horror film. It might be a little too scary for some kids, but like I said, this could be a gateway horror film. This is rated R, but it doesn't really have a lot of bad stuff in it, per se, and that stuff can be cut out. But Stuart Gordon was always one of my favorite directors, and it's a shame that we lost him so soon. Rest in peace, Stuart Gordon. So... I'm going to pair this with a movie that I actually really like from him that doesn't get talked about hardly at all. And that is Stuck. Now, I believe I got this at a dollar, dollar store a couple years ago. And when I watched it, I actually bought it just because Stuart Gordon directed it. I had never heard of it. And I got it home and watched it. And I was just... I was kind of blown away by the simplicity of the story. And it's just Stuart Gordon, in my opinion, at his best. I do love King of the Ants as well. And Edmund is, is a also an underrated film. But this one never seems to get talked about. And it's, it's a really good film. Definitely check this one out if you get a chance. And don't forget to check out Joe's review of Dolls. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button. And subscribe. And until next time, peace.